Hi and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka and let us discuss the following question. It says, an integer is chosen at random from the first 100 positive integers. Find the probability that the integer is divisible by 6 or 8. So here let us start the solution. this question. Here the sample space starts from 1, 2, 3 and so on till 100. Right? They are the first 100 positive integers. That means number of elements in this sample space is 100. Further, let E1 be the event of getting a number divisible by 6 and let E2 be the event of getting a number divisible by 8, right? Then E1 intersection E2 be the event of getting a number divisible by both 6 and 8. Now a number which is divisible by both 6 and 8 will be equal to a number divisible by 24, isn't it? Because it is the LCM of 6 and 8. Also, the elements that will be in event 1 will be 6, 12, 18 and so on till 96. Whereas, the elements that will be in event 2 are 8, 16, 24 and so on till 96. That means number of elements in event 1 are equal to 16 and number of elements in event 2 are equal to 12. So, E1 intersection E2 are equal to 4. Now let us find out the probability of event 1 that is n of e1 upon number of elements in sample space that is 16 upon 100 that comes out to be 4 upon 25. Similarly p of e2 is equal to n e2 divided by ns that is 12 upon 100. That is further equal to 3 upon 25. Also, probability of E1 intersection E2 is equal to number of elements that are in this divided by number of elements in sample space. That comes out to be 4 upon 100 and that is 1 upon 25. Hence, probability that the integer is divisible by 6 or 8 is equal to probability of E1 union E2, that is, probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus probability of E1 intersection E2. Now, let us substitute the values of probability of E1, E2 and their intersection that we got above, all these three values. That is equal to 4 upon 25 plus 3 upon 25 minus 1 upon 25. Taking the LCM and adding and subtracting the numerator, we get 6 upon 25. That is the required answer to the given question. So, hope you understood whole process well and enjoyed it too. Have a nice day ahead.